what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you was new here, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? If you're not new, welcome on back. I really appreciate you coming back again. First topic of the day. Normani is teasing her return. Normani is saying, you know what? I'm here. I'm coming. All right. Um, this album is better than ever. She even said, okay, that she wants the album to come out as much as we do. Okay. Allegedly, that's what she's saying. Um, but that's what she said, okay? And um, everybody's getting excited. All the Romani fans are just hyped up. You know, they you know they just, they dancing, they screaming, they twerking. They, you know, they just going crazy right now, okay? Um, now, my opinion is this, okay? Normani, with your track record, I don't give a flying fuck about an album or a single until I see a pre-save link or a pre-order link for any of your projects. And I'm keeping it a bean with your ass, okay? It's no hard feelings, there's no negativity, but I, you know, it's just when somebody has shown you over and over again how they would treat you and how they would do you, don't be, de no, don't be delusional because all of a sudden you're excited about, no, 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 okay? We ain't getting no Normani single until maybe 2029, if that. Okay, by the time her album comes out, all her fans will be elderly in senior citizen homes, <laughs> sitting in a um elderly um care center. Like, where's the album, bitch? The album ain't even here, and you almost gone. Move on to this next topic, okay? Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up, okay? Seems like Flamilli and Scissor. I'm sorry, oh SZA. They got a new song coming out together, y'all. They have a new song coming out together. Well, not a new song coming out together. You know, I meant to say that. SZA is hopping on the Flo Millie remix for Never Lose Me, okay? Um, and she's been teasing it on social media. You know, they've been posting about it online recently. Um, she was in the studio and she did her, like, I think her, like, her verse, like, overnight type shit. Because it was really quick. Um, this is great. I was wondering why Never Lose Me didn't get a push on the charts or on the radio. Because they were waiting for SZA. Mmm. So they was doing a master plan. They had a little a little meeting behind the scenes. Okay, they had to, you know, reinvest all that income from the song to get SZA on it. Mmm. Okay. SZA's been hopping on everything. Well, no, she hasn't been hopping on everything. But it just seemed like SZA has just been everywhere. Like, now she's on this song. You know, now she's on that. Cool, 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 cool. But um, I like this stuff for Flamily. I do like this. I do think that she needs that push. She do needs that extra oomph to get that song to where it needs to be at. And that's just how it is. You know, some people, some people are mad like, oh, well, I want her to have this hit solo, hit solo. I mean, yeah, but think about Flamily. She's not as big as a scissor. So she is going to need that extra push to sell a song, that extra push to go, you know, crazy on the charts. And it's okay. It's all good. It's all Gucci. Okay. It's all Gucci. Um, I am really happy though that SZA is doing this though for her. You know, you know, it's gonna really do some numbers. I think it's gonna really take the song to a next level. Like, you know, that that SZA feature whole weight now. I can't lie. That SZA feature whole weight now. It do. It got a little oomph to it. It ain't it ain't Beyonce weight, but it's a little a little hundred pounds, you know, a little one fifty, you know, a little lightweight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's move on to this next topic. Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. All right, Wireless Fest is coming soon. Um, Nikki will be headlining at Wireless. Yup, yup, yup. In case you all do not know. There was recently a promotional type video type teaser thing going around social media. And Nikki is one of them, okay? And um, this is pretty good news. Pretty good news if you ask me. Um, I think that, you know, Nikki is going to be getting that performance bag all 2024. From her personal tour to these different festivals, um, it's going to go crazy. I can see her making about, you know, a cool eight figures. No, not eight figures. Fuck that. What's, I can see her making about a cool nine figures from performing next year. Okay, I think that's going to go crazy. I mean, I'm sorry. Not, oh, my God. It's this year. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> I need to lay, put the J's down. Um, nine figures is going to be what she's going to be given, okay, from all her shows and events. And that's going to boost her net worth up like shit. I mean, her net worth going, you know, get some lip filler and Botox. You know, her, her net worth going to be plumped up like a botched BBL, okay? Plumped up, okay? Um, and I'm excited for it, though. Uh, I really am. I do think that Nikki, you know, I think that we haven't really gotten Nikki in her performance bag in a while. I mean, yes, she's been doing performances, 
You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like, her performing, performing, like, putting on a show show, it's been a little minute since we had that, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like for me, personally, like, my best Nicki performance recently was the 2022 VMAs, the Vanguard performance, okay? Everything after that hasn't been bad, but it just hasn't been as good as that. Um, so I'm excited to see how she does these shows, how she does this tour. Um, now, me personally with this tour, I'm worried that, um, you know, the set list is going to be low-key kind of hard to manage. Like, you got too many hits. Like, she got too many hits. Like, if you ask me, like, because I said it because, like, she has so many hits even prior to the Pink Friday 2 era. And that alone is enough for a tour. Like, that that alone is enough to do a tour. So, we're going to see how it all goes. I'm sure that she's going to find a way to incorporate everything somehow, some form, some way. Uh, we just, you know, yeah, let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, y'all, to Demon Cat. Um, Doja Cat actually has gotten herself top five on radio. Yup. Um, Agora Hills, okay, is top five. Ooh, so it's getting that big push. It's getting that big push. Um, and it's on pop radio. You know, so it's doing numbers. You know, the, the label is pushing the song. Now, if you ask me, I feel like Doja Cat knows how to make a hit. Like her team, her, she she gonna make a hit, okay? But I feel like she does have a lot to, to prove in terms of being a rapper now. I'm sorry, but yes, you dropped a Scarlet album and you know, it's a rap album and you proving yourself, but we haven't got any rap hits from your, al- your rap album that you've been bragging about. So... You know, it's not bad. Look, I'm not mad that she's getting hits because, you know, if you're getting a hit, that's good. Cool. Period. Do your big one. But how are you going to brag about being a rapper, but you don't release any of your rap songs as an official single other than attention? So it just doesn't make any sense. You do want a music video for Paint the Town Red, a music video for um, Fuck Ass Agora Hills. I'm not convinced that you are a rapper. Now, me personally, I'm speaking from the general public point of view i know doja cat can rap i know she has the capabilities to spit bars here and there i'm talking about from the general public point of view the general public is expecting you to be this rap girl this rap like you know you put you know scarlet is the rap album but why are all your singles only pop like i can see like all your singles can't just be pop music doja cat especially if you want to call yourself a rapper you gotta like let your your team needs to have some faith in some of your rap songs and push that because this seems like it seems like your own team don't think you can rap your own team don't trust your rap (laughs) because if that was the case we would have had some other songs as singles on this album so hopefully um in the scarlet deluxe you know package or whatever fuck she got going on um hopefully we got some rap singles on there and songs that can actually showcase your rapping ability since you are a rapper and is that too much to ask for is that too much to ask for i don't know like it, it seems like it sounds like i'm like doing too much with doja cat but I'm just pointing out a lot of little things that I'm realizing with her her team and the way they execute with her. It's just a lot of interesting things that happens. And I don't know. I'm just pointing it out. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on. Did y'all see the news? Yeah, Brianna, she is actually doing better in the music industry than what she was when she was actually in the music industry. Yup. So her Spotify numbers, like she's ranking high as hell, like at an all time high right now. Like her numbers is breaking like Spotify, like history right now. Um, Rihanna reaches a new career peak in monthly listeners on Spotify, surpassing 82 million for the first time ever. And that's the problem. And that's the damn problem. If I'm gone from something and I'm doing better than I was when I was there, why the fuck would I come back? And that's the problem. Y'all need to get this lady streams down to 10 million a month maybe she'll feel some urgency because right now them um residual checks from royalties is popping like hot cakes okay but no on a serious note though this is really good this is good um you know it just shows you how much impact that she has put in the music industry like to be gone for almost a decade and be doing better numbers like that that screams a lot that screams a lot that, that just says a lot about her career and if we're going to be honest y'all like if we're going to really keep it a bean rihanna does not have to ever come back to music again like and she will be fine in terms of like hits and you know streams money like she will be just fine like she does not have to come back at all so you know hearing normani saying how she come back with a new album but she been gone and she ain't did shit. It's just laughable when I look at Rihanna and she's doing the same thing. Because Normani, you don't have the credentials to be sitting up here not doing shit. Like, you don't have the credentials 
to be pulling a Rihanna. You just don't. It's just. A, it's like a. It's like a joke. Like like you just don't have the credentials. You know. Like but Rihanna has the credentials. Okay. She's proven herself to be the hit maker. She's proven herself to be the um, entrepreneur. The you know. She just proven herself many 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 times to be that girl. You know what I'm saying? And either you get it or you don't. But yeah, let's move on to this next topic. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay. Um, it seems like JT, you know, her No Bar song is when trending on social media. Okay. And No Bars is actually charted at number 47 on the chart. Okay. Which is in the top 50 of the TikTok chart. Um, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's great. Okay. But I feel like, um, you know, No Bars also needs a push. You know, doesn't she have a Nikki feature in the ball? You know, what's up with that? Like, there literally is a No Bars Nikki feature. I, why hasn't it come out yet? Why hasn't it been released? What's tea with that, okay? I don't know. I don't know, okay? But I do feel like No Bars, though, it's a good song. But she needed, she, 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 she she's too comfortable with this song. Like, she, like you know, if you when you hold on to your success for one thing, you kind of, like, hinder yourself from having another successful moment because you're so obsessed with the one thing that, like, you're just too attached to it. You know, if that makes any sense. So, yes, great hit. But we need some more hits, of course. But I love this for JT, though. You know, JT been doing her big one. Um, no Bars is definitely a vibe, though. You know, No, no, no Bars definitely has had people talking. Um, no Bars has even become, like, you know, a, like a regular, like, you know, slang doing conversation. People would be like, more No Bars. And it's like, you know, it's like a little cute thing. But, yeah, um, that's that, y'all. What's y'all opinion on that? Let's talk about it. Um, yes, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Be safe.